Yo, what's good? It's your boy, the urban legend. K to the fucking bird. KGUSA representative all day in the building. And today, man, I'm going to be chopping it up and telling y'all about the first time I met Project Pat, yo. This right here going to be about the first time I met Project Pat. And it's a real good story, you know what I mean? All right, let's get into it. So I was working with this dude in New York by the name of Big Trail, you know what I mean? I think he's from like uh, the Bronx or something like that. He, he got he was Puerto Rican, but I think he's just a mixed dude, black and white. But he grew up in New York and shit. Then he moved out to uh, Memphis for a little while. And he been working with a lot of independent artists in Memphis doing his thing, like, you know what I mean? He was a rapper at one time, doing his shit, doing shows, doing a lot of videos. And then he later became uh, a sound guy for DJ K Slay morning show, you know what I mean? And with that morning show, he built a lot of relationships with people, you know what I mean? With a lot of artists like Dolph, Pat, you know what I mean? Yo Gotti, uh, fucking Young Dro, Mano, Juice Santana. I mean, a lot of niggas, you know what I mean? He fucked with a lot of people in New York, even uh, DJ Envy, you know what I mean? A lot of people know this cat, man. This guy was a blessing to come across. I ain't gonna front. Big Trail, gotta give him a shout out. And at, at the particular time when I bumped into Big Trail, it was because uh, I was putting a lot of videos on Worldstar on the site. You know, not on the Worldstar YouTube channel, but on the Worldstar official site. And at that time, his side hustle beside working for K Slay was on um, working for Worldstar, man. This nigga used to do promotion for Worldstar. So at one time, he built himself up and worked his way in position. And at the time when we met each other, he had just became over the YouTube channel, you know, the Worldstar YouTube channel. He was like the guy, you know what I mean? He can get your shit on there for cheap and he can get your shit on there probably for free. You know what I mean? If it's the right kind of song and it's got the right potential, he get that shit up there for free. So he ran up the World Star YouTube channel with Project Pat. And that's how they became friends. You know, he started doing business with Project Pat. You know what I mean? Selling verses, setting up video shoots, setting up collaborations. He was like Project Pat manager when I first met him. But the way that he found out who I was and discovered who K Bird was, was by World Star. I had a song out on World Star at the time. I had two songs, maybe three. One of the songs was uh, Dope Lines. Another song was Back At Him, which was featuring the game from the West Coast, another legendary artist. And I'm gonna break down a story about how I got that feature, but we're gonna do that on another time. You know what I mean? Cause that's a good story too about the feature from the game. Cause that, that shit didn't come easy. I went through a lot of damn third parties to get that shit. But this story is more direct. So he saw my videos and shit up on Worldstar, and he had liked the song Green Crack of Light, and he said, man, I'm gonna let Project Pat check out this Green Crack song, man. I think this shit got potential. I think he'd be willing to get on it. So anyway, like, we've been talking back and forth through Instagram on the phone, and I was like, you know, I really think it was gonna happen because niggas always selling you a dream through Worldstar, always telling you some shit they can do, and then it never comes through. But probably about a week goes by, and... You know what I mean? This nigga hit up my phone one day urgently, like hitting up my phone a couple times. And I was busy at the time, so I was like, damn, what's going on? So, shit. I got on the line and hit him up, and he said, yo, Pat, want to get on that song? And I was like, for real? He said, he fucking with that Green Crack song. He want to get on it. And you know what I mean? He willing to damn meet you, and y'all can do the session together. He recorded with you. And if you want to give him a little bit of bread, you could probably do the video with him just to give him something for his time. And when Trail told me that, I was like, damn. But at first, I didn't believe him because he a New York nigga, man. And I, I fuck with New York to the top. I fuck with New York to the to the fifth power 100%, but they hustlers and they will hustle the shit out you at any moment, at any given time. So when that nigga told me that shit, I still ain't believe him, yo. Even though he said all this shit, I know he worked for World Star. I see all the celebrities be on his Instagram page. But me, I'm a skeptical motherfucker, so I still ain't believe him. Nah, I still ain't believe him. So he said, man, what you doing, bro? So like three days go by and I keep on going back and forth with him. Like, you know, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do this shit with Pat. I don't know. I don't know. And he was like, yo, 
you trust me? And I was like, yeah, man, but you know, I'm still kind of skeptical about this shit. So that was like Friday night. And then Saturday, around like seven o'clock the next day, the nigga called me and Pat was on the line with him. And I heard Pat voice and you know, he got a distinctive accent, you know, he from Memphis. And I love that Memphis style. And he came on the phone and I was like, yo, this ain't really Pat, Joe. And he was like, I'm telling you, dog, this project Pat, yo, I'm trying to damn do business with you. What's good? What's the business? You know what I mean? And I was like, so what, what's up? Like, you really want to do that song? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, so where you at? And he was like, yo, I'm in Virginia right now, about to do a couple of shows, but you can come out here to Virginia to the personal studio, which is called, I think, the Sugar Shack, you know what I mean? By my dude, I can't think of his name right now, but he from them, you know, he from New York too as well. He a hustler, but he always did business in Virginia. He recorded a lot of big artists like New Edition, a lot of big artists, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, his name just came to me, yo. His name is Spade Hayes. And the name of his studio was, <clears throat> I think, the Sugar Shack, you know what I mean? And it was in uh, fucking Chesapeake, Chesapeake, Virginia. So they shoot me the address or whatever, and he said, yeah, man, come tomorrow around like 4 o'clock, 4.30, we can do that shit. So boom, right after that shit happened, I hit up my cousin, damn Dez, and I was like, yo, I know he got a... Uh, you know, a license to carry permit, you know what I mean? I had a gun at the time, but you know what I mean? I ain't had no license to carry and I didn't want to go to Virginia without no license to carry. But I didn't want us to go up there naked without no gun because you never know how this shit gonna go. Niggas be saying one thing and then saying another thing, you fuck around and get robbed. So anyway, Chief's like, yo, I'm down. I'm down with the ride, man, let's go. So I hit up Cheese and we jump on the fucking road from the Carolina, leaving out of damn Myrtle Beach, we just ride that shit all the way to VA on I-95, straight up. So we get to Chesapeake, and I pull up at the address, and it was...